The first exercise I want to demonstrate for you is the rice bucket. The hand, wrist, and forearm is the last link in that kinetic chain, and we need those muscles to be strong in order to help us with our throwing success. There are several different exercises that you can do in a rice bucket. I'm going to show you five or six of my favorite. It looks like this. So the rice bucket routine I'd like you guys to do for the program includes finger fans, flexion extension, radial and ulnar deviation, and then counterclockwise and clockwise circles, and it looks like this. The finger fans, we put our fingertips into the rice. The deeper you go, the harder it is. The less deep, the easier it is. And all you're gonna do is open and close your fingers. Notice the tempo is pretty fast. I'm gonna do this until my form starts burning, and then I'm gonna knock out a few more reps. I'm gonna shake it out, stretch it out. From there, I'm gonna go into flexion and extension, forward and back. Same thing, go until I feel some burn, knock out a few extra reps, shake it out, stretch it out, give myself a little break. Then I'm gonna work side to side. The fancy words are radial and ulnar deviation, or we can just call this lateral flexion. Go until it burns, knock out a few more reps, shake it out, stretch it out. Then I'm gonna do counterclockwise and clockwise circles. Now notice when I'm doing these, I have my forearm touching the side of the bucket and my elbow on my knee to keep my arm stationary. I want all these movements to be from the wrist, whether it's flex and extension, radial and ulnar deviation, or the counterclockwise and clockwise circles. Also includes the finger fans. We want our arm to be stationary and all the movements to be from the wrist and fingers to help with that hand, wrist, and forearm strength. That's the rice bucket routine for the Drop Your Pot program.